This match continues. It's Abyss and John Cena versus Stone Cold and the Big Show. Abyss goes for the cover. Remember, folks, Abyss and Cena partners tonight at the Royal Reckoning, though. They will be opponents. The WEDF Championship will be on the line. And I got to say, Cena might very well be the dark horse in that matchup. Because you're, you probably expect Abyss to retain the title. You probably expect Stone Cold to get it back. But you got to wonder, where does Cena fit to this mold? He's a former WEDF champion himself. That's correct. And we got to think, what is Cena thinking? In that match, we know that he doesn't like. We, we know that he doesn't like Austin. We know that he's part of the corporate cabinet with Abyss. But could he use that uh, so-called alliance to his advantage to take the title from Abyss? And see now reversed up uh, starter block. He could also break off from that alliance. He could also very well give Abyss what he wants, double team Austin, but in a surprise move, a backside take, if you know oh what he's God. for. You can't see me. Took her ninth move in all of history that everybody hates. Remember though, Stone Cold uh, actually in a Fatal 4 in episode 49, pinned, I think JBL, to win the WEDF Championship previous hold by Danny Jackpot. Now Cena goes for the cover, but Big Show gets back into the ring immediately. This tried to knock, knock Big Show out, but he did not succeed. And speaking of the Fatal 4-Way, this is a similar situation with the Triple Threat. Remember, in Triple Threats or Fatal 4-Ways, the champion does not have to be pinned in order for there to be a new champion. Yeah, I don't, don't recall Danny Jackpot getting pinned to that match. Exactly. So, of course, that would mean, that would merit that Danny Jackpot would technically, if you counted the fact that the champion had to be pinned, Danny Jackpot, although he's out in attack, would definitely still be the champion right now. That elbow to the back of Austin. Of course, had a similar situation that Fatal, the Fatal Four would survive with the fittest. Rob Van Dam, though, retained that title. That's absolutely correct. Shock treatment. God, we all know what could be coming next, folks. One. One. Big Show breaks it up. Big Show again. So fast man, 500 pounds. Quickly getting into the ring. The world is. He's not the world's largest wrestler, the world's largest man uh, he is uh -oh. Choke slam. Austin countered him. Like I was saying, Big Show is not the world's largest wrestler, the world's largest man. He is the world's largest athlete. That's absolutely correct. Cena getting in the ring for absolutely no reason at all. Big Show got the hot tag. And Cena. Big Show rolling. A huge shot. What I was talking about, folks, in this in this matchup, Big Show is the equalizer to the corporate to the uh, corporate cabinet. Oh, look at that! He picks him up with his own hand. His knees. One hand. Oh, look at the strength, Big Show. That's 350 pounds. Very nice. I've never seen Abyss dominated like this. Dominated. Ooh, huh. Well, if there's anybody who may know Abyss inside and out, it may be someone who works in the corporate cabinet with Abyss. Someone who has sided with Abyss so long, learned about his strength, embraced in his strength, to the point where they can finally see the cracks in the foundation and think, okay, now how do I use my strength to take advantage of his weakness? This is on the top rope. I don't think we've ever this, seen anything like this. We saw that 
That match for The Undertaker, he went for a clothesline. Big Show, what is he doing? Do not tell me. Big Show, no, he contemplated no. going to the top rope. Oh, now no, 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 no. What are you doing? Big, Big Show, what are you doing? Oh, my. Oh. I'm surprised the ring didn't break apart. And Big Show, really? Him, that superplex. Another shorter block for John Cena. Oh, counter to the DDT. A big show, you never see him go to the top row like that. I mean, I've said it before, you know. I mean, a guy, a guy of a size like I know, big show, you know, we're meant to be on the ground. He could have crushed a bit in his career right there. Well, well, there's a difference between guys your size, uh, Icorn, and guys big show size. I agree with you that guys big show size do not belong anywhere near the top rope. Yours, I wouldn't say that argument so much, but then again, Big Stunner! Show. Stunner! The Stunner connect! Oh, stunner by God King! By God King! He just hit him with the Stunner! It's gonna be the Sorry, end of this. Do that. One, One! Two! two. Oh, Cena kicks out! I'm not sure if all Cena got all that Stunner. Brilliant! Cena is very impressive. Austin didn't get all that stunner, all that stunner, 100 percent though, and the bits is in the ring stalking the rattlesnake. This could be bad news for Stone Cold Steve Austin. But as I was saying, with the Big Show going to the top rope, he is the world's largest athlete. He's wanted to prove that he has athleticism, and I I gotta give him props for not limiting himself to that. But maybe next time he should just not do it. Good I mean, point. There was a first time for everything, but then there was also a last time for everything. Let's hope that that right there was the first and last time that we see Big Show go up to the top row. Well, he's done a drop kick before. Oh, Cena, five knuckle shuffle time. Austin's wounded. Down, Abyss taking out the Big Show. Big opportunity for Cena right now. The gate is wide open. Attitude yeah, adjustment. adjustment. Now, fuck you. Big Show going the ring. Here's the cover. Knocking him out of the way. Cover. One, One two, two. Oh, Big, Big Show breaks Show. it up. Oh. How much does Olsen have left? <laughs> and now another attitude adjustment. FU. Or Osha Jax's FTS. The bit taking care of Big Show, it's over here. Oh, I think I can't get this three is over. Cena and Cena going into the Royal Reckoning main of her, uh, you know, title match with all the momentum. Oh, oh wait a The bitch! Oh, and Cena slowly changed clothes. Cena! Like said, you know, it's just it's our style sometimes. But and Cena, oh! Cena picking up the WWE oh. champion. Hold on, Cena with a message! Here comes attitude adjustment on the monster! Wait a minute, picking him up again! And just tossing him to the outside! It's, it's Austin. Austin! He's back up! Luthes Press! Oh god! Things getting chaotic and in a hurry, ladies and gentlemen! And Austin now! A little payback for those. A stunner! Stone Cold Stunner! And there goes Cena. Wait, it's JBL! What? Where the hell did he come from? Hilaria from hell. I don't know where he came from. He's part of the corporate cabinet. There goes and notice, notice how they're all getting thrown over the top rope. This is a special a rock. It's for a rock! Stalking the, the stalking GBL. And these two are going to go at it. They're not going to wait until Royal Reckoning. They're going to go at it He's right laying, away. Laying the smackdown on GBL. Laying the smackdown on some candy ass in the middle of that ring. JBL going north at clothesline. Wait a minute, folks. Can we be seeing it? Is he going to hit it? Rock in position. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. Rock 
bottom, connected right on the dot. And The Rock has got all the momentum. Here's Could he qualify for the Royal Reckoning match? To beat JBL and win the Royal Reckoning match. Notice how they were all getting thrown over the top rope. The Rock could be the final man left after lasting through 29 other guys. In this age, yeah. Sign of things to come. Yes, that's an interesting correct. The fun commentary with Frank Dog and Homer. We'll see you at the Royal Reckoning.